Hello there, this is Lynn Allen. Welcome to another AutoCAD tip courtesy of Catalyst Magazine. Today we're going to talk about a feature that's been in AutoCAD for almost forever, since like, you know, the 1920s. <laughs> forever. <laughs> um, but I got a big overhaul inside of AutoCAD 2015, so I want to make sure that you know all about it. And it has to do with isometric drawing. All right, so isometric drawing is for those of us who aren't really ready to make that leap to 3D, but we still need to draw some objects, right, that look like they're in a 3D view. And most of us, if we want to do some isometric drawing inside of AutoCAD, which is technically 2D, by the way, uh, we would go into the snap command and we would set the style to isometric. And then there's a variety of different ways to switch from one isometric plane to the other. All right, so in 2015, a new tool showed up on the status bar. It's this guy right here. You can see isometric drafting. And I'm currently in this viewport, incidentally, right there that you see on the screen with the grid. And if I click on that, it kind of does two birds with one stone. It jumps me, it switches me over to isometric drawing mode, and it switches me to an isometric plane. It usually starts off in the left isometric plane. And you can tell my grid is now at an angle which is great. It's going to make it easy for me to draw at that angle. And then I want to make sure that my ortho is on because that's going to constrain me to the left isometric plane. All right, let me show you what I'm talking about. Um, I'll just go on the link command. We'll make it easy. I'm going to start to draw the left side. We're just going to draw a box because, well, we're so very, very talented. Here, I'll even make it a little bit bigger. So very simply, it keeps me constrained to that left isometric plane and makes it easy for me to draw the left side of that box. All right. Okay, now, I'm going to go back in the line command, but now I need to switch to the top. I'm going to draw the top of the box. Very, very easy. I'm going to come up here. I'm going to switch over to the top isoplane. There are other ways of doing it. You can also do F5 if you prefer. Um, but I'm going to use my new tool. <laughs> go ahead and draw the top of the box. Once again, that ortho is helping me make sure that it's all nice and lined up. All right, let's go to the right side of the box. Go back in the line command. Let's go to the right side. And that off. There we go. See how easy that was? I've got a box that's not truly 3D, but it kind of looks like it is, doesn't it? Right now, we can also draw ellipses in each of the isometric planes and so that it will create isocircles that will be going the correct proper angle for the side of the box that you that you are on. All right, so I'm still on the right side, right? So I am going to go into the ellipse command. You'll see there's an isocircle option. I'll go into isocircle and I'll just go ahead and draw my ISO circle. And it's going to, once again, it's going to put that at an angle that looks like it's on the right side of the correct side of the box. All right, let's switch over to a different ISO plane. Let's go, oh, we'll put one on the left side. We'll do one on the right and one on the left. You can see, once again, the grid changes every time I switch over to a different isometric plane, right? And uh, let's go back into the ellipse command. And we'll go back to ISO circle. And we'll draw one more. Pretty good. All right. That's pretty good. <laughs> I could draw one on the top too if I wanted to. A whole box full of holes. <laughs> so, and just so you know, you can do F5. It will also switch you from one isometric plane to the other. There are a variety of different ways of doing it. Uh, control E2, right? Yep. Control E will do it as well. Whatever makes you happy. I like using the new tool because it's cool. <laughs> when I'm done with isometric join mode, all I have to do is click on the tool and it turns it back off, as you can see there. So, Click it, turn it on. You can see that it has color now. That's how I know it's on. Click to turn it off. We're back to the world of black and white. Or actually gray. To be honest, it's gray. <laughs> so, so try the new ISO draft tool. I think you're going to find that it comes in handy. It allows you to draw those kind of 3D objects that look like they're 3D objects, and yet you can still remain comfortable and peaceful in the 2D world. All right. That's it for me. Thanks for joining me for another AutoCAD tip, and I am going to see you back here in two more weeks.